Robert Zemeckis has done it again, achieving yet another classic masterpiece of a film, Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly is friends with Doc Brown, Christopher Lloyd, eager to show Marty his latest invention, a time machine, built inside of one of the most unreliable cars, leaving him stuck in the 50s. Meanwhile, he tries to convince his parents they're meant to be together, before his very existence evaporates and becomes a thing of the past. His mother has the hots for her son, which as a kid I thought was funny, but as I'm older looking back on it, I realize how weird it is, but still funny. Marty and Doc Brown must be as quick as lightning in order to be set back to the future. Thanks to Marty's help and guidance to his much younger parents, he not only changes their relationship, but also who they grew up to be in the future. 1.21 gigawatts! What the hell is a gigawatt? You're so gullible, McFly. Get your meat hooks off of me. You heard her. Get your meat hooks. Christopher Lloyd has been as old as I can remember, but has been in so many great films along with Michael J. Fox. Both are very talented and passionate actors, bringing both comedy and heart to the story. Damn. Damn, damn. Calvin, why, why do you keep calling me Calvin? That's your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein? It's written all over your underwear. Ah! Where are my pants? Over there, on my hope chest. Meet him now, Michael Fox, ladies and gentlemen. Without a doubt, the toughest part of doing Back to the Future for me is that I'm still doing family ties. This is the kind of lack of substance that great relationships are built on. I wake up around 9 or so, go and work from 10 to 6, 6.30 on family ties, get in a universal car, drive over to universal, work, work until about 2.30 uh, on that, go home, sleep, wake up. So that gets pretty grueling, and uh, although I, I kind of enjoy it, you know, people say, how can you do that? And I say, well... Because I, I have to, because I said I would, you know, so so I'm, I'm doing it. The time machine went through a lot of variations, and we changed it quite a few times. Refrigerator, we thought it at one point, you know, it was made out of an old refrigerator. You had to you know, get in, close yourself, but then we thought maybe kids would start locking themselves in refrigerators. But as the story developed, and we started to think about if you, in fact, were to build a time machine, it became very apparent that you'd be foolish not to make it mobile and to take it with you so that you could get back uh, and not have to worry because you know you never know you know traveling through time is a dangerous thing i got this maybe as a gift on vhs for a present from my grandmother and i've been hooked ever since and I loved it, it was so funny. The movie really is a classic, and it even spawned two sequels. And the 80s is a decade known for its incredible films. It's a very special formula within that decade, and it's a formula that's very specific. Robert Zemeckis' work will always remain as one of the best parts about the past, but will continue setting examples for future films.